Monaco came into week five on the back of a tremendous Champions League victory against Tottenham Hotspur at Wembley. Defending an unbeaten start to the league and season, they took the lead at home to Rennes. Just before half-time, Radamel Falcao wearing the captain's armband, scoring his first league and goal in more than two years. The Colombian is back and that goal looked like it would be the only goal. But Monaco popped up with a couple more late on. Thomas Lemar got them both. Bernardo Silva and Guido Carrillo helping set him up for that one. And Lemar letting fly here in stoppage time. His second of the afternoon, his third of the week. He also netted against Tottenham. 3-0 Monaco. Seven straight wins in all competitions for them. Nice are still unbeaten too, but they had to come from behind to earn a draw away to Montpellier at the Stade de la Mosson. This game was goalless until midway through the second half and Malang Sarr was penalised for handball inside the penalty box. And upstepped Riyad Boudabouz to score from 12 yards and give Montpellier the lead. But Nice, with Mario Balotelli missing, came back to equalise late on. And guess who got the goal? Younes Belonda, starting for the first time since joining Nice on loan from Dinamo Kiev, playing here against the club where he made his name. With him, he won the title in 2012. He was almost apologetic as he put that ball in. Paris Saint-Germain at the Champions produced their best display of the season under their new coach Unai Emery romping to a 6-0 win away to Caen in Normandy and this was all about Edinson Cavani, the Uruguayan getting the early opener after Maxwell's low ball in from the left he scored again from the penalty spot after Lucas had been fouled by Siam Ben Youssef Cavani who got the opener against Arsenal in the Champions League three days earlier after just 42 seconds but then squandered several golden opportunities to finish that game off here he was very much in the mood and another Maxwell cross was turned in by Cavani as he completed his hat-trick, his third hat-trick in Ligue 1. But there was still time before the interval for him to score again. His fourth of the evening, his eighth of the season for club and country, who said Cavani wasn't a man in form. He went off at the interval, was replaced by Hesse and without him PSG added a couple more goals in the second half. Lucas making it five. Even if Remy Vercoutre in the con goal got a touch. And then Adrian Rabiot set up Jean-Kevin Augustin, the substitute, making it 6-0. Paris Saint-Germain's biggest win since beating the same opponents by the same score in April. Promoted Mess are fourth in the table after a nil-nil draw away to Dijon in Burgundy. This game a tale of two penalties. The visitors awarded an early spot kick after a handball in the box by Mehdi Abeid. But Mevlut Erding, who netted a hat-trick in the win at Nantes a week earlier, saw his effort hit the bar on its way over. Dijon themselves won a penalty in the second half. Arnold Bukamutu was fouled in the box. Little Frederick Samaritano saw his kick saved by Thomas Didion as it finished nil-nil. There was a slip-up for Bordeaux a week after a tremendous victory away to Lyon. They were beaten at home by Angers at the Matmut Atlantique. Angers' second win on the bounce after a poor start to the season from them. Johan Andreu's ball into the box. Finished at the second attempt by Carl Toko Ekambi. At the only goal of the game, Bordeaux finishing with 10 men after Diego Roland's red card. Toulouse have also beaten Bordeaux this season and they claim their second win of the campaign, coming from behind to beat Gangon. Gangon playing with 10 men after the sending off of their goalkeeper Carl Johan Jonsson. They took the lead early in the second half when Jimmy Brion converted a penalty that had been won by Yannis Salibur. But at the other end, not long after, Sanibur conceded a penalty for that foul on Steve Yago. And Martin Braithwaite beat the substitute goalkeeper Theo Givars from 12 yards to make it 1-1. The winning goal was scored by Jimmy Durmaz, the Swedish international, with his first goal in French football since signing from Olympiakos, giving Toulouse a precious 2-1 victory. A 
off the back of their Europa League draw against Mainz in Germany. Saint-Étienne huffed and puffed at home to Basti at the Stade Geoffroy Guichard. They saw Robert Beric miss an early penalty, but they won another spot kick deep in injury time. Roman Amuma fouled by Yannick Kauzak, and he netted the spot kick. Not a convincing performance from Le Verre, but Christophe Galtier's side taking the points. But their great rivals, Olympique Lyonnais, travelled to the Velodrome for the Olympico. Lyon, having beaten Dinamo Zagreb in the Champions League during the week, thought they had the opening goal when Maxwell Corne diverted that cross towards goal, but Johan Pelé got there in the nick of time. Goal line technology telling us that it wasn't in. They nearly scored in the second half. Corentin Toliso hitting the bar with that header. They also had a goal disallowed in the first half. Clinton NG missed Marseille's best chance. And it finished 0-0 at the Velodrome. After an awful start to the campaign, Lorient got their first points on the board at last. They got a break to a big one. Frank Perry has clearance hitting Stopila Sunzu in the Lille penalty box and the referee awarding the spot kick. A weekend of penalties in Ligue 1, that perhaps the most controversial. Benjamin Mukonjo didn't care, he scored it and Lorient finally off the mark. Another two struggling sides, Nancy and Nantes met at the Stade Marcel Picot and Nantes took the lead here in the second half. Yassine Bamu and Leo Dubois combining to set up Mariusz Stepinski, the Polish striker, for his first goal since arriving in France from Ruch Horzov. But Nancy equalised when Luik Puyo's free kick evaded everyone on its way in. And it finished 1-1. Well, just the 19 goals scored in week five, six of them coming for the champions, Paris Saint-Germain away to Caen, Monaco, the other big winners of the weekend. A first win for Lorient, allowing them to breathe easier, goalless at Dijon and in Marseille. This is how the table looks, Monaco still unbeaten and top two points clear of Nice, the champions Paris Saint-Germain and promoted Metz just behind them, Bordeaux slipping back to fifth place. The bottom, Lorient, still prop up the division despite that first win. They're a point adrift of Nancy, Nantes, Lille and Dijon. Marseille down in 15. The football doesn't stop in France. More games in midweek. The champions PSG at home to Dijon on Tuesday evening. The big game is on Wednesday. Nice and Monaco meet in the Côte d'Azur derby.